Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Digitivity. I hope you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to turn an image into a pencil drawing. And for this, we will be using GIMP which is a GNU image manipulation software. Which is a completely free to use open source program. And if you are completely beginner to GIMP you can watch the tutorial about how to download and install GIMP on Windows 10. The link is available in the i button, as well as in the description. Now without wasting time, let's go to my laptop screen and start the tutorial. To start with our project, open GIMP first. Once you are inside GIMP go to the top menu and click on the file option which is on the left side of the menu. Click on open and import the image you want to convert into a pencil sketch. Now duplicate the image layer and hide the original layer for backup. Now go to colors in the top menu and click on desaturate. It will open up a window, just click OK. Again go to the Layers panel and duplicate the desaturated layer twice by clicking on this icon below the Layers panel. Then go to Mode, above Layers panel, and set the mode to Dodge. Then get back to Colors and invert the layer. It will look like our picture is completely vanished, but don't worry. Just go to Filters, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. It will open a window again. Now adjust the blur level suitable to you. Click OK. Now select the third layer which we have desaturated at first and drag it to the top of all layers. Now go to Filters, Edge Detect, and click on Neon. It will open up a window, now make sure the intensity is 0, and set the radius to 5 pixels. Hit OK. Again go to Colors and invert the layer. Then go to Mode and this time choose the Multiply Mode. We will do one last step to improve our work, go to Colors again, click on Levels. It will open up a window. Now click and hold the small triangle which is in middle, drag it slightly to the right side. Hit OK once you found satisfactory results. And we are done, thank you very much for watching. This is it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful in any way whatsoever, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to my channel, and if you have any questions about this video. Please let me know in the comments below. See you in the next tutorial, take care.